G'day and welcome to Body Needs Massage. I'm Peyton and today I'm going to take you through a vlog of my mobile massage kit, the things I take out onto a job and uh, you know for your everyday massage. So first up we have health form. Very important to always have with you. Make sure every client finds one, fills one out before you start the massage. Next, towels of course. Always take some towels with you. I always like to start with a minimum of three. That always works best. The other one is a slip cover. I, when I first started massage, I didn't have a slip cover. This just wraps around the table, locks into place, and it stops the towels from sliding all over the place. It is really fantastic. Only 10, 15 bucks from online massage stores. Really, really, really good. Can't recommend it enough. And then obviously oil pouch, you know, always need to take the oil. So I use a grapeseed oil, um, iGlide. I find that works the best. And yep, pretty much straightforward there. Um, iGlide again. So always take backup oil. The amount of times I don't check the pouch and it's run out of oil, you always want to take, I always take a litre of oil around with me as well. And then invoice book, invoice stamp. So people are claiming on their private health funds, you need to write them up an invoice so they can claim back. Very important. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, business cards. Always take business cards out with you, just in case you know you want to pass your name around. Okay, what else we have? Uh, disposable slip covers, face covers. These are brilliant. I've been using these now for about two years as opposed to towels. Some clients like them, some clients don't. I just find them incredibly convenient. They just go on your headrest like so. They work out to being about five, 10 cents a, a slip cover. So, fantastic. Okay, what else have we got? Side pocket. Mobile FPOS. When you're going out to jobs, I didn't have this for the first two, three years. Um, so glad I did buy it. Mobile FPOS machine, everyone wants to use FPOS these days. Very little people carry cash around with them. Very important to uh, take out. So, rent's very low on that as well. I'm with NAB and it's fantastic. Okay, work wallet. Just something to keep the money in. Always important. Clock, need a clock. And pens. People filling out that health form, you filling out your invoice. Biggest thing is find pens that do not do all the pens that, that work well whilst writing in oil soaked invoice book. So what I've found is this uh, big Atlantis. They work well. Not many pens work well once the book gets covered in oil, and it will always get covered in oil. Tissues just for clients when they get stuffed up noses. You need to have a tissue on hand. They might not have any tissues nearby. You will want those. Okay. Um, little bag of bits and pieces. Spare receipt rolls for the, uh, the uh, mobile FPOS machine. This is one that I always recommend people carry out with them. And it's incredibly important for your female clients because once they jump on the table, you want to be able to start straight away. And if they don't have a hair tie, they've got long hair, it's going to be flowing all over the place. Carry around a couple of hundred hair ties. You know, you could just, you know, so cheap, saves you a lot of time, a lot of mucking around, and yeah, makes life a lot easier. Okay, and what else have we got here? So, um, heat creams. Now, I always just use deep heat. It's cheap. It does the same trick as everything else. Um, six bucks from Coles, Woolies, Chemist, whatever. Um, really cheap. Make sure you always check see if your client is happy having heat cream. I've been to so many massage therapists, they don't ask, and I've had clients in the past, just you know, just before I, when I asked them, and they tell me that they're actually allergic to this stuff. So be very, very careful, you know, you do not want to be causing your client allergic reaction, or they might not want heat cream on them. It does smell, they might have to go to work after that, or do something for the rest of the day and don't have time for a shower, you know, and this stuff can, stink up the place a little bit and I also have another type of heat cream um, ouch now I got given this by um, uh, the actual company that makes ouch 
to test out and everything like that. It does work well. Does it work better than heat cream? I'm not too sure. Um, from my personal preference, it, it's a good heat cream, but it cost a arm and a leg, I think $35 for a 50 gram tub. And I mean, this uh, 100 gram of deep heat cost me $6. So, you know, uh, I think 100 grams of this cost $60. So it's 10 times the cost of the, the heat cream. So, um, you know, I, I still use it, but um, it's, it's not something I would really worry too much about and spending the big money on the heat creams. Um, I hope this has been helpful for all you new massage therapists trying to get a handle on what you need to take out to a job. And um, yes, hopefully, you know, this helps. Thank you.